Hi guys, in today's video, the part 2, we will be seeing how to write the letters A to P in fog calligraphy. In the part 1, we had learned the basic strokes, the 7 basic strokes and the rules of fog calligraphy. In this video, we will be seeing the letters A to P and how to write them using a sketch or pen. Okay, so now as you can see, I have taken an A4 size paper. The distance between these two lines are 5 cm. So now let us start writing the first letter which is A. So I'll write from here. First we have to do the strokes. So whatever strokes we had learned in the last class, the same stroke we will be using today. So now let's start with the letter A. So what we have to do is first go in an up stroke. So let us start doing that. Go up, it's a thin stroke and now we have to come down to make a O stroke. So, come down and meet here and again we have to come down. Under turn. So, this is how we do the letter A. So, once it's done, according to the rule, thin up, thick down, we have to thick this portion now the down portion and here also as you can see this portion we have to take it up so as we are doing it in the sketch or in the pencil this way we have to do if it's in the brush pen that will be easier no need to do this so this is how we do the letter a so now let us proceed with the letter b so now how do we do it for this we have to do the ascender stroke which has the loop towards the upside. So go up and come down. This is the ascender stroke. And now we have to do the O stroke. That is towards the right side O stroke. So this way. So this is the letter B. So now the same rule applies. It comes down. You have to tick it up. Like this goes up, comes down, thicken, and this comes down. So this also we have to tick it up. So now let us color it. Yes. So the letter B is also done. Let us go with the letter C, the next letter. This also requires the same thing. We have to go up. And make a O stroke but which is in half. So let us try that. Go up like this and come down but in half. Again go up thin, come down in a thin stroke. So you have to make it thin. And the fourth letter of the English alphabet is B. So now we are going to make that letter. So for this what we have to do, it requires C. So first let us draw that. Go up and come down and go. So it's like almost to the same as the A. But now we have to do the ascender stroke. Which means... We have to do the loops towards the upper side. So this is how we draw the letter A. Now the same rule applies. Go up thin. Come down which will be thicker. Here again go up and come down thicker. So now what we have to do. Once we will draw we have to thick it up. As you can see, we will thicken it up this way. So, these are the first four letters of how to do in fog calligraphy. So, now let us do the fifth letter which is E. The E is nothing but it's the compressed version of the ascender stroke. So, now let us see how to do it. So, first you have to do the ascender stroke. Which has to go like this. It's very simple. The upper loops that come over here come in a short. 
सो अगेन थिन अप थिक डाउन एंड वॉट वी हैव टू डू आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग इज वी हैव टू कलर इट अप ओके सो येस द फिफ्थ लेटर इज ऑल्सो डन सो नाउ लेट इज डू दिस सिक्स लेटर विच इज एफ सो हियर इट रिक्वायर्स असेंडर एज वेल एज अ डिसेंडर स्ट्रोक सो लेट इज सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ इट सो इट कम्स डाउन ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट इट गोज अप देन कम्स डाउन देन इट कम्स लाइक दिस सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू गो अप देन देन कम डाउन विच इज sticker and again go up and it's thinner after that so what we have to do is now we have to color it up actually there are two types of f this is the first type let me show you the next type also you can use both of them go up so this is same in both of them both of them it is same but here it comes in the opposite direction that is like this this is also a same type of f here it changes go up come down it will come like this it comes in a downward position so again you have to shade it up this is the next type of f now let us draw the next letter which is g so here also it is similar to c let us do that first we have to draw a a shape then we have to come down that is come down and go like this so this is how we draw the next letter g here the same rule applies go up then and come down so this has to be colored the portion which comes down has to be colored and here also the same rule applies this comes down so we have to thicken it up this way so let us color it yes so this much is letter g so a b c d e n e f and g the next letter that we are going to be seeing is h so let me show how to draw the letter h also what we have to do is first go up and up stroke then the ascender stroke this day and then what we have to do is the overturn overturn it's very simple now up then when the portions that come down we have to thicken it up again it goes up and comes down here it has to come from the half of it then only it will look good this way we write the letter h the next letter is i it's very simple again it's an up stroke then we come down that's it and we keep a small dot for the letter i so when it goes up it's thin and when it comes down it is thicker the same rule applies for all the letters that you are going to be writing so this is the letter i the letter j is also very simple it's the same as i let's see it goes up you have to come down and make a loop this is letter j when it goes up you know it's thin and when it comes down it has to it has to be thinner so let us make it yes 
again for letter i and j we make two dots so again a dot so this is how we write the letter h i n j the next letter is letter k let me show that also so it's also kind of h only let's see goes up a sander stroke then kind of a o stroke then a down stroke which comes down so again go up then the strokes that come down have to be thicker and once we draw them we have to color them up again this comes down so this again we will color it this way and yes that's it this is how we write the letter k the next letter is letter l let me show it over here letter l is very simple we have to draw a line like this then again an ascender stroke and that's it this line is for joining to the next letter so now again up then then down which is going to be thicker and that's it in l this is the only thing that we do so this is how we write the next four letters the next five letters including l okay so now let us see the next set of letters also after l it comes m so let us draw that also so m is very simple so let us see how to draw it first we have to draw a up stroke which goes up this way then we have to make a line then two overturns one and two and the next this is how we write the letter m so when it goes up it's thin when it comes down it has to be thicker again up then down is thick again up then when it comes down it has to be thicker this way we write the letter m and n is also the same but it's half of m let us see make an up stroke come down again an overturn and a stroke so again the portions which are coming down we have to make them thicker here again up and again down and we have to make them thicker so this is how we write these two letters the next letter is o o is also similar it's like the same o stroke that we are going to be using so it goes up and it comes like this and this second stroke goes above it and comes like this it actually cuts and comes down so let us see how do we shade it up goes up and when it comes down we have to shade it up so this way we will shade it again when it goes up and when it comes down we have to shade it off this way so this way we write the letter o so it has two shadings on both of these curved lines and the last letter for today that we are going to be seeing is letter p how do we write that particular letter okay so that's also very simple so what we do is first we make an up stroke then it comes down then we make a stroke like this and it goes down so this is how we make that stroke so again the portions that are coming down they have to be made thicker as you can see make them thicker and on this curves also we have to make them thicker 
So I hope you understood how to write the letters A to B. In the part 3 of this tutorial, we will be seeing how to write the remaining letters and a few examples. So please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.